conducting free, fair, and credible elections has been identified as a bedrock for peace and development of any nation. It is to this end that the National Peace Committee designed strategies, set up proactive mechanisms, and engaged stakeholders, irrespective of region, religion, and political affiliation, for the attainment of peaceful election in Nigeria. The National Peace Committee, established in 2014 under the chairmanship of retired General Abdul Salami Abubakar, envisaged a Nigeria that is built on peace, justice, and equity, where every citizen has a right to democratic participation and can live freely in any part of the country. It is to this end that all the 15 governorship candidates in Osho State collectively gathered to say no to election violence as they signed the peace accord. The coordinator of the initiative, Most Reverend Matthew Kuka, stated that Nigeria needs more than a peaceful election at the moment as she is in dire need of peaceful environment. He noted that insecurity is posing a great danger to democracy in Nigeria and admonished those in authority to rise up to the occasion and show genuine commitment to democracy by ensuring that peace reigns in all the parts of the country. The bishop also decried the monetization of votes by politicians, urging the contestants to show integrity and fear of God. For you, the members of the political class, in the name of the Peace Committee, I want to appeal to you. We love our country, we love our democracy, the peace politicians in Nigeria. We beg you, make it possible for us to trust you. Make it possible for us to love you. Make it possible for us to, to, to show that by choosing democracy, we have chosen to, we have chosen to stay alive. If we democratize the opportunities that are available to the widest number of our citizens, then our people will become enthusiastic to go out and vote. But if they vote and they think that we are voting only for a select group of people to enjoy on our behalf, it will be difficult to convince our people. Chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Jakubu, appreciated the National Peace Committee for sustaining the initiative, adding that without peace, nothing can be achieved. He appealed to politicians to honor the peace accord and abide by the spirit of the accord. The success of the peace accord depends on the continuous support and commitment of political parties and candidates, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and the security agencies. Speaking for INEC, I wish to reiterate our commitment to transparent and credible elections. The Commission has taken every step to ensure that a credible governorship election happens in Osho State this weekend. As I said repeatedly on several occasions in the past, without peace, our deployment plans, recent innovations in voter accreditation and result management, the safety of voters, election duty personnel, observers and journalists, logistics arrangement, and ultimately, the credibility of the courts will be undermined. The army of Ife, or Badea Yogusi, or Jaja II, maintained that power belongs to the electorate and anyone who genuinely loves or should state will never be involved in acts that will jeopardize the peace in the state. The monarch tasked the contestants to take the spirit of love and togetherness to the poll, just as he assured all Nigerians that traditional rulers will continue to uphold the spirit of peace by ensuring that peace reigns in their domains. The state of Osho is greater than all of us. We, the stakeholders of the state, the power belongs to the electorate, the power belongs to the people. You can only try your best, and you are trying your best. We want to continue to appeal to you that please, and please, and please, help us, for us to help our their state. The Inspector General of Police, Mr. Osman al Kalibaba, did not miss words as he gave strong assurance of the commitment of the police and other security agencies towards maintaining law and order before, during, and after the election. The Inspector General, who had earlier announced that 21,000 police personnel will be deployed to the various police units in all the wards in the state. He however gave a sound note of warning to parents and guardians to caution their children in words not to be used to perpetrate violence on election day. You mustn't hear this claim. For the political actors and electorates that are law abiding, they are fully assured of optimal security as they exercise their electoral rights.
however, for the Debians, who against all wise counsels are determined to deploy violence and other illegitimate means to advance their political interests or constitute a clock in the will of our democratic joint by threatening our battle for peace and security, they should be prepared for the consequences of their actions as they will be identified, isolated and decisively dealt with as prescribed by law. The 15 governorship candidates and the chairman of their parties showed commitment to peace by signing the peace account. The incumbent governor, Adibi Egaritola, encouraged other contestants to ensure that Osho retains her status as one of the most peaceful states in Nigeria before, during, and after the election. I only want to enjoy that to the Peace Accord has been signed by all the 15 governorship candidates. Stakeholders believe the ball is now in the court of the electorate as they have a duty to come out on Saturday and vote in the candidates of their choice based on genuine conviction and not on monetary inducements. Oluchi Amuda, OSBC News.